my bag has taken quite a bit of a beating this trip. Let's see, there's like tears and everything. None of that was like this before I started this particular one where they lost the bag, etc. But this is how I've got it back. So I reckon this bag's going to have to be retired after this trip. <coughs> After 17 days away, back on the farm this morning. And it's amazing how green everything is since I left. Oh my goodness, look at all the grass. I'm going to actually have to strim. Look how the vegetables have grown. Crazy. 17 days, all of this can happen. It is amazing cats seem to have grown bigger but look at all the grass Good morning, sweetie pie. Did you have your babies when I wasn't here? Are those your little babies still sleeping this morning? Grass is even coming up in the pig pens. Um, yeah, so... Cupcake and Toffee never had babies. They just fat. So they got to be moved in with the others at the top. And... Um, I've got to move blueberry and peaches down. So there's a little bit of pig maneuvering and that's going to happen. I'll probably do that for evening feed. So, battery's flat this morning. Um, so it seems like when I drive the car, I run the battery down instead of charging the battery up because the car stood for 17 days and the battery was fine last night, thank goodness, because at midnight, if I didn't have a battery working, it would have been a disaster. So, um, yeah, and because I need to put money on my phone, I can't actually call anybody to come and jumpstart my vehicle. But I had an inkling because I parked it facing this way. Now I've just got to try and maybe get hold of the neighbors to jump start because I've got lots to do today. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about this battery story. This is, yeah. It's like I it started first time last night. I drove home. These, I don't know what is running the battery down. But um, yeah, this morning it's dead. Coming to check on the olive trees um, to see if they can wait a week because I'm only here for two days but I think these are all looking ready for harvesting so I might have to come and uh, do some olive picking today yeah they're quite full right They're not really falling down on the ground yet, I see, but definitely, you can see, ready for harvesting. So luckily the girls came and helped um, jumpstart the car. So I'm going to actually go and buy a new battery because that battery is about, how old is it now? Over four years old? I don't know. If it's the battery that's causing this or something else but um, when I come back from my next trip 
I'm going to definitely have to get the car serviced um, but I'm going to try and get another battery now anyway so just got back from Fundo had a quick trip there had to get um, some supplies some more animal feed and I have made a booking for Matilda to have her service and get a new battery um, for Friday the 8th so hopefully we can get the car going in between right I'm gonna start my olive harvesting I've only really got this afternoon and then tomorrow afternoon and then I only can do next week again so I'm gonna see how much I can pick today right there's quite a lot in this tree so let's get started tree a little bit as well um, these branches I'm going to go and give to the sheep but uh, just a couple of hours this afternoon and I've almost got a full bucket so that makes me happy it's at least a start so tomorrow I can actually this tree still got quite a lot so um, maybe finish this tree tomorrow start on another one and then uh, have to wait until I get back again so very exciting I have received in the post my 800 watt Afri power station which I'm now going to take out the box once I've managed to cut it open. Ooh. Maybe I must touch where it says open. Luckily, I've still got nails to open this up over here. Here we go. Exciting. It has been very, very securely packed. Ooh. It's like a special. I like it when things come with special little bags. That's exciting. I have to see what's in that bag. Oh, and another bag. And, oh, here it is. Right. And it's got instructions and everything. I've taken the Afri out of the box and it's looking, it's quite heavy. I think it weighs close on seven kilos. Look at all these different, there's USB ports, there's these other charging things. Oh, I can't move the handle and I see there's no um, Bluetooth, but that's okay. I haven't really used that Bluetooth. I'm so old, I don't even know how to use Bluetooth. So the Afri is charged 100% and we're going to see how it works with 
the coffee machine. Okay, so it's powering this coffee machine. Let's see how much it's really down to 99%. Let's have a look. So one cup of coffee uses 4% of the battery. Time to test the affery on the tile cutter to cut the glass bottles. So I've cut 30 bottles with the tile cutter and it's gone from, I don't know if you can see, 94 to 82. So it's used 12% to cut 30 odd bottles. So the next test is to see if the Afri can charge my Ryobi battery. Oh, yep, it's starting to charge. Bit of a gloomy day today. Um, keeps having little showers of rain. So I don't think it's gonna be much work outside. I'll see if it clears a little bit. Um, to continue with the olive picking, but I don't know. Just three babies left. Um, got one past year in the night. It was, yeah, must have died sometime during the night. So I'm only home for two days. This is the second morning. So I came and I thought, let me try and start the car and see if it starts started perfectly no problem and it's now about 20 minutes later and i came to start it flat battery in 20 minutes from starting first time perfectly flat battery but anyway this is going to get sorted um next friday because um i'll be back next wednesday and yeah, Thursday is usually just to recover and Friday back into the swing of things. Mushrooms everywhere at the moment. Not sure if these are edible, but they're popping up everywhere. Even all right. over in the sheep pen, yeah. Oh, all of you, frothing at the mouth, ready for feeding time. Yum, 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 yum. They definitely love olive leaves. So this morning I'm debating opening the gate between Jelly be uh, Bean's pen over here and the big pen that Cocoa Pop is in because there are like acorns falling from the oak trees there and there's lots of grass to eat. And I'm thinking she can take her babies in there as well. Um, yeah. Let me go and see. All snuggled up on this miserable day. Yeah. Babies are all out this morning. They're eating solids. 
Coco Pop has come in here and she's eating with the babies. Jelly Bean is walking around. She's just gone to the bathroom as the pigs do on the other side of the pen away from where they eat. An amazing thing is that they teach the babies to do the same. The so babies are all eating well. So hopefully she'll take them out and then they'll go and eat some grass and she can teach them how to eat grass and that. Because I've opened the pen between the two. What was, wasn't that a Tennessee Williams play? Cat on a hot tin roof. You know, one of the harsh realities of living on a homestead is that animals will pass away from time to time. And um, when they've been sick, you sort of expect it and um, you try whatever you can do to keep them alive. But then there are times when they're happily playing and jumping around and eating and nothing at all outwardly wrong with them when you last see them the night before and then the next morning you just go there and they've passed are we both very comfortable hmm? so just to give you a heads up i won't be putting out a vlog video on sunday or wednesday because I'll be um, away again but I'll probably be putting out a recipe video because I've got a whole bank of those so I'll be putting one of those out um, but you won't get a vlog on Sunday or Wednesday sure what this is that's gone crazy over here it looks almost like it's seeds that were planted but not too sure didn't manage to get any olive picking done today so it'll ha hopefully uh, there'll still be olives on the tree for me to pick when I get back next week so in the meantime stay sane stay safe and I'll see you on the next video